Notre Dame did not invent the forward pass, but there is no doubt that the combination of quarterback Gus DeRay and M. Newt Rockney did more to popularize the pass than any other duo in college football history. Until the first day of November 1913, DeRay and Rockney had worked as lifeguards on the beach at Cedar Point, Ohio. In their spare time, they worked on perfecting the pass patterns the pair had developed. There is no doubt that the use of the pass in the first half of the 1913 game at West Point shocked the Army cadets, including an injured end named Dwight Eisenhower, who watched the game on the sidelines. After two quarters, Notre Dame was ahead 14 to 13. Army would not score another point, as DeRay picked apart the Army defense with an aerial barrage. Rockney caught a pass for 40 yards, almost unheard of at that time. The final was 35 to 13 as DeRay completed 14 of 17 passes for 243 yards. With the shocking victory, Notre Dame was no longer just a small Catholic boys' school from South Bend, Indiana. And the forward pass was no longer a footnote in offensive playbooks.